Welcome to the Weston Embedded Solutions Xilinx Vitus Software Guide. In this guide, I'll be going over how to start up a few basic Xilinx projects using our software repository. This uses our CCM software, which is based off of the Micrium MicroC software line. Once you have downloaded the Xilinx software package from your customer portal, you'll extract it to your computer into something similar to what I have named Xilinx on my screen. This contains a folder called Setup, which is what you'll need to get the rest of the files you see in my Xilinx folder. You'll then need to install and open the Xilinx software command line tool. Once you have installed this command line tool, open it and run the setup.tcl file found in the Setup folder. This will extract all the files you will need to get your project started on one of the supported Xilinx platforms. After having run the setup.tcl file, you will see the rest of the files that I have here in my Xilinx folder. These source files will be needed as we start setting up the base project. Next, open up the Xilinx Vitus IDE and choose a workspace to work from. I have already opened a demo workspace on my computer for this demo. Let's get started now on opening up an example project that can also be used as a base. Click the Xilinx drop-down from the top menu bar in the Xilinx IDE. Then select Software Repositories. And finally, click the New button to begin a new project from your local repository. Navigate to the folder where you have extracted the Xilinx repository and ran the setup file. Again, in my example here, I have it in the Xilinx folder. Select the folder called UCOS and click Select Folder. Click Apply and Close. Then select File, New, Application Project. Click Next to go to the following page. Select the Create a New Platform from Hardware tab. You'll see several options in the Hardware Specifications menu. ZC702 will be used for the Zinc 7000 platform, and ZCU102 will be used for the Ultrascale Plus platform. We'll be focusing on these two. For now, select ZC702. Then click Next to go to the next page. Name the project OS3, click Next, change the operating system selection to UCOS, click Next, select CCM CS OS3 Hello World as our example template, and click Finish. Now that the project setup has finished, we should have an OS3 system file and a ZC702 file in the Project Explorer window. Open the ZC702 project contents in the Explorer. Double click the platform.spr file, then click the board support package file under the Zinc FSBL folder. Click the modify BSP setting button for the Zinc Platform ZC702. This allows for easy management of your project settings in the BSB. From the Overview window, click the Drivers option. This will display the various component driver combinations that you can modify. There are four drivers with the UCOS in their name. Replace each one of them with the equivalent name that doesn't have UCOS in it. Final one. After you've done that, click the OK button. 
Now click the board support package file under the UCOS PS7 Cortex A90 folder. Then select the Modify BSP Settings button, which will open a collection of supported libraries. For the CSOS3 Hello World project, we'll need a few of these selected. CS Common, CSOS3 Real-Time Kernel, and UCOS Standalone Compatibility Layer for Xilinx Drivers should be selected. Click OK after ensuring these three libraries are selected. At this point, the example project is ready to build. Right-click the project name you assigned and select to build it. Once the build is completed, you'll be able to download your project to your board and begin testing. Now that the project is building, we're almost to the fun part. You can now select your pre-configured debug setup and download the project to your target hardware and begin debugging. Click the debug drop-down and select your debugger configuration. Allow the IDE to download your binary to the hardware and you're set. Now you can begin debugging your application. Now that we've set up a project with this Silings project repository, why should you care? What does this matter? Well, I'm glad you asked and will be happy to answer. Getting a base project set up with complex protocol stacks can be tricky, especially the more complex and expansive the target hardware is. While Xilinx boards are great for developing a wide array of projects, they can be very complex to get started with. It's a case of squeezing in everything, including the kitchen sink. These base projects can help you get started faster. Skip having to figure out the configuration setup for our protocol stacks and get to your application design faster. For developers, this means less stressing over low-level peripheral setups. For companies, this means spending less money getting set up and faster to market times with your product development. I hope you found this introduction to our Xilinx project repository useful to your own design decisions. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.